We've all gotten the same advice. If you're lost when coding, look at the docs. However, the problem is that a lot of developers, including myself, were never taught how to correctly look in the documentation, read the documentation, and use it to our advantage when programming. So the main purpose, right, of a documentation is to make the process of development a lot easier because they're getting it straight from the source. So for example, let's say the user is developing in React and they're building out some application here like a web app. If they run into a bug here, let's say there's like an error on their screen, rather than going to YouTube, uh, looking online, looking how other people do it, they can just go straight to the source read through the React documentation that has most of the information there for him to look at and solve his bug in a much more efficient manner because it's from the source. And if you want to know, the process for me usually goes like this. So let's say I am coding this application over here. The first thing I'll obviously usually do is code up whatever I'm trying to build. And then when I run into some bug or error over here, then I will go to some sort of documentation like React to then help me solve this bug. So the process is usually me coding, run into bug or error or something that's not outputting the, the way I want it to, and then look at the documentation to solve whatever thing I'm trying to do. But I'm probably talking about things you already know. So let's actually get into the process of reading documentation and getting what you want out of it. So let's say, right, this is the documentation. Let me just, can I name this something? Oh, cool. I can name it docs. So let's say, right, let's say this is the documentation over here. And let's say you're working on authentication on your app. You want to put in a sign in functionality, email verification, whatever it may be, but you're not getting the results you want. It's not working. You're getting a bunch of errors and you want to fix it. Looking at this from some sort of developer's sense, what you want to try to do is I know this is obvious, but you'll understand what I mean in a second is read through the documentations carefully and really understand the process of how they developed the documentation. What you have to realize, okay, is I, I believe why documentation as a whole gets a lot of hate is because sometimes it's a little bit hard to read. Each documentation is different. They're not always going to be the same and they're developed by human beings at the end of the day and each person just has a different way of making it. And so carefully just go over the documentation. Let's say we're working on next auth, okay? Let's go to next auth uh, documentation over here. I would just go to next auth like this or whatever authjs.dev. So let's say we're working on a sign in functionality. I would usually just look for sign in something like this. Go to next auth itself. Let's go to next. So in this area, we have the main documentation for sign in and logins and stuff like that using next auth with next.js. And I would just go through all of this. This is not that long and there's obviously some other things here. But if this fits what I'm trying to build, like setting up and sign ins. This is it. So I would carefully read through this entire thing, look at how it's structured and then try to implement something. And so you can see here, they're putting the sign in and sign out functions in an auth.ts file. I already know this because I do this, but once I get an understanding over here, I will usually just go back into my code, take whatever I took from the documentation, like whatever understanding I got, and then try to implement it into like a, my, my code, basically whatever I'm trying to build. But Nazar, you may be saying, a lot of the times I am lost. How do you get over this error area where like, I'm taking whatever, I'm reading documentation, I'm trying to implement, but it's just not working. That is one, right? I will just go back into the documentation and try my best to look at what I'm trying to do wrong. Typically, okay, it's, it's, I know as developers, we are very cocky people and we want to be right all the time and we think that we're always right. But I'm telling you a lot of the times we're not and that it's probably something wrong with what we are doing. So what I would do again is just go into auth.js or whatever you're trying to documentation you're trying to read and go through it again. Maybe look at a more deeper level knowledge of it. Maybe look at different aspects of the authentication or, or documentation. But the main point is to just try to find out what exactly you're, you're doing wrong and stick to it. Now, there are a couple of times, right? That was a really funny voice crack where the documentation just sucks. Like you cannot read through it. It's like really badly written and that happens all the time. I'm not saying that doesn't happen, but there are many times where the documentation just sucks and you literally just can't understand it. And if you are running into this and the documentation is just not doing it for you, here's where you would just do the regular thing where 
you look online. So things such as chat GPT is what I'd usually do first. Uh, Stack Overflow. Also, a very underrated one is um, GitHub Issues, I think it is. It's like GitHub questions. You ask it on GitHub and people ask, uh, they solve it for you. But again, I, I'm putting this last because I know that documentation at times sucks like a lot. But if the documentation is not doing it for you and it will happen a lot of the times, then I would usually go here and ask them how to do it. But again, by looking at documentation carefully, no one does this, by the way. No one just takes the time out of their day to read through everything. Like I bet there's probably 10 people that have ever read through this entire page. Go through it. I wish I did this earlier where you're just taking your time with it, trying to understand the documentation or anything like that. And by the way, there's documentation for everything, whatever you're trying to build in React, Next.js, Alt.js, Clerk. There is stuff for it, so you don't have to worry about that. But just go through it carefully, try to understand how the person wrote the documentation and your life will be so much easier because the answers are right there. It's literally a cheat code. But yeah, if you like the video, like the video. If you want to check out my learning platform where I have like a bunch of free courses on there, then I will leave that somewhere uh, down below. Happy coding. Check out the video on the screen and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.